Hi, this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and today's tutorial is going to be on saving, exporting, and publishing your simulations. So let's get started. Right now I have a simulation running that uh, it's pretty simple. It's just got one default background that came with Fire Studio and then one default smoke layer that also came with Fire Studio 7 called Dark Turbulent. And so that's all it is. It's just two layers, a background and one smoke. So we're just going to keep it simple for this tutorial. So if I want to save this simulation, all I have to do is click Save. And I'm going to put them in the Save Sim folder that I have. And I'm just going to call this one Sim 1. And select. OK, so now you can see it's updated. And we've called the Sim 1. And it shows up in the simulation name here. And that's all we have to do. That Sim is now saved. I can open it any time I come into uh, Use Fire Studio. And that's all I need to do. Now, if I wanted to move this simulation, I actually can because it's just using default layers with Fire Studio 7. If I wanted to put this on another computer running either the Instructor Edition or the Player Edition of Fire Studio, all I have to do is take this sim1.dcs file, and that's what it created when I saved it. The DCS is, if you want to remember, it's a digital combustion simulation. And I can take that sim and I can send it to another computer that has Fire Studio on it, or I could send it across the world to, to another user that has Fire Studio installed on their machine. So when you save a, a simulation with a default layers only, where there's no custom layers, you can just save that DCS file and, and use it somewhere else. So the only way that you can do that is if you have no custom layers. So let's go ahead and swap out this background with a custom background. So I'm going to go into my library. And if I click down here, I've got a residential library. And I've just got one picture in it and I'm going to go ahead and swap this picture out with a custom picture. I can move this smoke down here and so now it's basically the same kind of simulation but now the big difference is is that we have a custom background so if I want to move this to another computer or send it to someone else to use I have to not save the simulation I need to export it because what has to happen now is you need to get that custom background with the simulation as well and so that's what happens when you export it so I'm going to go ahead and export and I'm going to put it in the same folder that I was but I'm going to call this one sim1 x and I, I like to put an x at the end of anything that I export so that way I know that hey I've exported the simulation it's easy just from looking at it because I use that naming convention on all of my exported sims so if I hit select you can see here it changed the name underneath the simulation name to Sim1X. But let's take a look at what actually just happened. So if I go back and look in that folder, I've got the Sim1DCS, but I also have Sim1X.LBR. And what that is, is the library file that it creates that has any custom layers in it. So that could be the custom background that we used on here, or maybe you had some custom sounds or custom clip art or anything that didn't come with Fire Studio is going to get put in that LBR file. So if I want to send this file somewhere else, either to another computer, um, an iPad player playing uh, Fire Studio 7 on it, I need to take both of these files, the LBR and the DCS, and put those on a folder on the other computer. And if both of those files are there, you can open it just like it, it opens here on the, the computer that it was made on. So let's go ahead and get out of that. So that's that's how you export a simulation. And now once it's exported, I, I always recommend that you don't export really until you're done with the simulation because once you're done, then you're probably not going to work on it a lot anymore. And then you send it off and, and you're not going to make any changes to it. Now that's not to say you can't. I mean, you can you can make changes to this, add, add more backgrounds to it, whatever you want to do. But then you have to remember not to save it. You have to export it again so that anything new will get pulled over to that exported simulation. So if you added some more layers that didn't come with Fire Studio, you need to put that, you need to export it again so that it is saved to those two files. And so that's pretty simple, but um, you just gotta remember to do it. And that's why putting the X at the end of it sometimes is helpful. Now new to Fire Studio 7 is a new feature called Publish. And Publish is very similar to exporting it, um, but it takes it one step further. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to go ahead and publish this simulation. So I'm going to hit publish and I'll just save it in the same folder. And I'm just going to I'm going to go back to sim1 again. 
um, because it changes the extension to DCX. And so if you see a DCX file, that is a published sim. And the big difference between an exported sim and a published sim is that it, instead of creating two files, it only creates one. So I'm going to go ahead and select. And you can see now the name got changed back to sim1. Um, and so if I wanted to take a look at that file that was just created, so you can see here we have our sim1 DCS that was originally made. Then we have sim1x.dcs that also has sim1x.lbr, so the DCS and the LBR file. And now the third time I've saved it, or I've actually published it, you see that we have only one file called sim1.dcx. So that DCX file has both the simulation file and the library file just in a single file. So it makes it much easier to move around or to send someone because it's um, it's just a single file. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I forgot to I forgot to send them the library file or you know I, I misplaced it or I separated them or whatever happened. So now you just have the DCX file that, to worry about. Now there is a big change to the DCX file and that is, is once you save it as a DCX file, you can no longer edit the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start with a new simulation. So I just I, I click new. So now we're back to a blank canvas here. And I'm going to go ahead and open. And when I open that Sim1 DCX, you can see that what happens is, is it turns in basically to a player edition. You can no longer do any editing at all on this simulation. It's it's pretty much locked, and that's the way it's going to be. Now just remember you still have can still have your saved or exported version. That you had before and still edit it and do things and you could republish it again under a different name or overwrite that name but just know that once you send if you sent this to another computer or to another fire studio user they cannot edit the sim it is locked and that's by design so that a lot of people that if they want to send a sim out and they don't want anybody messing with it or doing different things it'll it'll be locked so now if you if you tried to go into author mode while this sim is open if you click here and go into author it's going to tell you author mode is not available on a published sim would you like to close the sim and so if you say no it's just gonna it's gonna stay open now I'm gonna go ahead and do that again but this time I'm gonna say yeah I want to close it and when you close it it closes that sim and basically now you're ready to open up something completely new uh, because it, it shut down that sim and it can't be edited again but again if I want to open up my original one I'll go back all the way to the sim 1 DCS I can I can bring that one up or I can bring any of the other ones up that I saved before so it's just a new way of getting those sims out and only having one single file now instead of having two hopefully that clears everything up for you especially the new users of Fire Studio 7 if you're still using version 6 the save and export is exactly the same so you just remember the first part of that video and then the new users to version 7 will have the new publish feature one last thing about version 7 version 7 will open anything that was made on version 6 but version 6 cannot open a version 7 sim so you can't go an older version opening the newer version 7 because there's too many differences there's different smoke and fire and it's handled different so just know that that once you upgrade uh, you, if, you're, if you have multiple computers, you're going to want to upgrade all of your computers and your players so that they're all on the same version so that you can interchange those files back and forth. That's it for today's tutorial. Again, I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and we will see you on the next tutorial.